Learn English Through Stories B18 Adapted and Modified by Kowon Sing Sandhu Contents 1. Mini Stories 3 2. The Rabbits and the Elephants 3. Little Red Riding Hood 4. Punctuation 3 5. Picture Dictionary 1. Mini Stories 3 A. A Clean Car Banta Singh lived in America and had a beautiful car. It was a Honda Civic, five-door hatchback. It was black. It had a big diesel engine, 2200 cc. He drove his car only five miles a day. He took good care of his car. He washed it every day. He washed it by himself. He washed it with dishwashing soap and water. He dried it with a cloth towel. He vacuumed inside the car every day. He vacuumed it with a small vacuum cleaner. The outside of his car was clean. The inside of his car was clean. He never ate anything inside his car. He never drank anything inside his car. Sorry, that was a lie. He was seen drinking vodka and eating spring rolls. B. Crimes Banta Singh is a police officer. He is an SP, superintendent of police. Crime is down, said SP Banta Singh. He talked to TV reporters. He talked to newspaper reporters. He talked to radio reporters. I'm proud, he said. Our police are doing a good job. I'm proud of our police. He said crime was down 50%. What kinds of crime? asked a reporter. All kinds of crime, said Braddon. Bicycle theft is down 60%. Mobile phone theft is down 55%. Computer theft is down 50%. He didn't say anything about other crimes. What about other crimes? asked a reporter. What other crimes? asked Banta Singh. You should be happy with this news, reported to the public. The public will be happy too. One of the reporters asked, Sir, what about the shooting took place in the train? Three people were killed. That is not a crime. That is a political game, said S.P. Banta Singh. See very clean hands. Banta lives in America. She is the queen of clean hands. She loves to wash her hand. She washes her hands with soap and water. She uses soap and water to wash her hands. She uses warm water and soap. She washes her hands for 45 seconds. After 45 seconds, she stops washing her hands. She turns off the water. She dries her hands with a clean towel. Every few hours, she turns on the water and washes her hands. Banto has very clean hands. She does not have many germs on her hands. Germs cannot live on her clean hands. Why doesn't she clean her face? Nobody knows. D. Washing clothes. Banta lives in Canada. He is the dobai of the house. He washes all clothes. He doesn't wash them by hand, but put them into the washing machine. One day, his wife had gone to work, and he decided to wash her clothes. He put her clothes into the machine. Normal setting. The machine ran for one hour and twenty minutes. He took the clothes out. Banta put them into the dryer. He selected hot dry. Hot dry kills the germs, thought Banta. After the dryer finished, Banta took the clothes upstairs. He was just going to fold them. He doesn't like ironing. While he was folding the clothes, his wife came. She had a big smile on her face. Thank you for doing my laundry, said she. He said, it was my pleasure. She picked up a blouse. Then she screamed. What's the matter? he asked. She said, Look at my blouse. What happened to my white blouse?
it's all different colors. What did you do to my blouse? She looked at her black trousers on the bed. She picked them up. What's wrong with these, he said. She didn't say anything. She took off her brown trousers. She tried on her black trousers. She couldn't get into them. You shrank my pants, she screamed. You shrank my pants? E a metal firepan. It was the Chinese New Year. The metal pan was light, shiny, and round. It was about 12 inches across. It was perfect for burning paper. She put the pan on the hardwood floor. She opened a package of paper money. It wasn't real money. We burn the money for our ancestors, she said. And maybe money will come to us this year, and we would be rich. She took out some paper notes. She lit them. She dropped them into the pan. She lit more notes and dropped them into the pan. The living room got smoky. Finally, she stopped lighting the money. It finished burning in the pan. The pan of ashes cooled. She picked it up. Oh, she said. He looked at the floor. A dark ring was burned into the wood. Well, I hope your ancestors send us money this year, he said. We'll need it to pay for the floor. Or we can join the Indian politics. The Indian Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, knows how to convert black money into white money. 2. The Rabbits and the Elephants Once upon a time, there lived an elephant in a forest. In fact, he was the king of elephants. His name was Mahashu. The king and his subjects were living happily. The forest was full of green trees. The lake nearby was beautiful, and it had clean, pure water. The elephants went to the lake to drink water. They also went to take a bath in the lake. Some other animals and birds lived in the forest as well. For all of them, life was good. One year, something terrible happened. It did not rain for the whole year. Gradually, the lake lost all its water. There was no other source of water nearby. Many of the animals and the birds started dying of thirst. The elephants got deeply concerned. They knew, without water, they would die soon. The elephants called a meeting. In the meeting, they decided to go to their king. They went to the king and explained that there no water left in the lake. The king already knew this because his own special pond was getting dried as well. The king said, let me think what we can do. After a while, he came up with an idea. He sent eight elephants into eight different directions. North, northeast, east, southeast, south, southwest, west, and northwest. The next day they came back. They all looked sad but one. The one who went to the east was happy. His name was Kushia. He found a large lake not too far in the east. This news changed the mood of the king. He was in low spirit. But now, the king was on cloud nine. I mean he was extremely happy. Soon, they all started marching towards this new lake. Kashia was in the front with the king, and the rest followed them behind. On the way, they had to go through a large colony of rabbits. The elephants were so excited that they did notice what was coming under their feet. So they killed many rabbits on their way to the lake. After the elephants had gone to the lake, the rabbits had a meeting. The rabbits knew that they were terribly weak animals compared to the elephants. One of the rabbits was exceptionally diplomatic. His name was Sam Chota. He came up with an idea. He told the other rabbits that they need to struck a deal with the elephants. So the rabbits decided to send Samjhata to the king of elephants. The next day, Samjhata went the king of elephant. He approached the king very politely. He said, Your majesty respected the king of elephants. Do you know how many rabbits did you kill on the way to the lake? The king replied, Sorry, rabbit, 
We were so excited to find the lake that we did not realize what evil we were doing. Please tell us. What can we do? The rabbit cleared his throat and said, Please don't go through our colony. The king asked, You tell us. How can we avoid your colony? The rabbit replied, We live on the west of the lake, and there is small forest on the east of the lake. You can settle on that forest. The king agreed. From that day, the elephants lived on the east of the lake and the rabbits on the west side. 3. Little Red Riding Hood Once upon a time, there lived a little country girl, the prettiest creature who was ever seen. Her mother had a little red riding hood made for her. Everybody called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day, her mother said to her, Go, my dear, and see how your grandmother is doing. For I hear she has been very ill. Little Red Riding Hood set out immediately. As she was going through the wood, she met with a wolf. He asked her where she was going. I'm going to see my grandmother. Does she live far off? said the wolf. It is beyond that mill you see there. It was not long before the wolf arrived at the old woman's house. He knocked at the door. Tap, tap, tap. Who's there? Your grandchild, Little Red Riding Hood, replied the wolf, faking her voice. The good grandmother called out, Pull the string and the door will open. The wolf pulled the string and the door opened, and then he immediately fell upon the good woman and ate her up in a moment. He then shut the door and got into the grandmother's bed, expecting Little Red Riding Hood, who came some time afterwards and knocked at the door. Tap, tap, tap. Who's there? It is your grandchild, Little Red Riding Hood. The wolf cried out, Pull the string, and the door will open. Little Red Riding Hood pulled the string, and the door opened. Grandmother, what big arms you have. All the better to hug you with, my dear. Grandmother, what big ears you have. All the better to hear you with, my child. Grandmother, what big eyes you have. All the better to see you with, my child. Grandmother, what big teeth you have got. All the better to eat you up with. Fortunately, a hunter was passing near by the hut. He heard the wolf and recognized him right away. He ran over to the window. He took a good aim, and that was the end of the wolf. 4. Punctuation 3. Apostrophe. Use an apostrophe with S to show who something belongs to. 1. This is Bonta's room. 2. This is my mum's scootery. 3. Are you Bonta's girlfriend? 4. This dog's tail is very long. 5. The teacher collects everyone's books at the end of the class. 6. Charno is going to her friend's house for lunch. You also use an apostrophe to show where one or more letters are missing in a contraction. Wand. I'm equals am the boy who lives next door. 2. She's equals is my best friend. 3. He's equals has been to Europe twice. 4. Where equals are going to the zoo today. 5. Your equals are my favorite uncle. 6. I'd equals had. Better go home now. 7. You've equals have got dirt on your new shoes. 8. He'll equals will lend you his bike. Quotation marks. Use quotation marks around the exact words that someone says. You put the mark at the beginning of the words and the mark at the end. Use a comma before the last quotation mark to separate the words from the rest of the sentence. Juan. This bike is mine, said Bantha. Two. I would like some apple juice, please, said the little girl. Three. Let's play computer games, said Chua.
Suppose the exact words that someone says come after the rest of the sentence. In this case, put a period, full stop, before the last quotation mark. One. Dad said, come inside and have lunch. Two. John, said Mom, please turn your music down. Put question marks and exclamation points in the same place as periods before the last quotation mark. One. Is this the way to the station? The man asked. Two. Santa said, can I borrow your pencil? Three. Don't do that, said Mum. Four. Salman Khan said, what a great movie. Colon. When you are reading a play script, notice the colon between the name of a character and the words that they speak. Banta. What have you got in the bag? Hulabu. My swimming suit. Banta. When are you going swimming? Hulabu. This afternoon. Would you like to come? Five. Pictured dictionary page. 